Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how you can send a file from your Google Drive to your Microsoft OneDrive automatically. For that, we are going to connect Google Drive as the trigger application and Microsoft OneDrive as the action application and after that whenever you are going to upload a file in any specific folder in Google Drive, the same file will be saved in your OneDrive account automatically. So guys to set up this automation we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an automation tool and we are going to set up this automation without any coding very easily. Let me show you how. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and we have pasted this same link in the description. From here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks to set up and test your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now then after that you have to sign in and reach the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this and guys here you have to click on this create workflow button to create this automation workflow. So here you can give any suitable name to your workflow as well. So I am giving the name here as Google Drive to Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, so after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And here you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So in the trigger, you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So the trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So here in our use case, the Google Drive would be the trigger app and Microsoft OneDrive would, would be the action application. So you have to connect these applications here. So search for Google Drive in trigger here it is okay then you have to select the trigger event which is going to start this workflow so the trigger event would be a new file in a specific folder select this option and you can see it is showing every 10 minutes so in every 10 minutes this workflow is going to check your google drive folder and see if if you have uploaded any new file or not and if you have a new file there the workflow is going to be trigger and the file will be sent to the OneDrive account. Okay. So first of all, you have to connect the Google Drive here. Click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Drive. And it will bring you to the login window, but I have already logged in. So it is asking me to select that Google account by which you are uh, accessing that drive. Okay. So I'm selecting the Google account. <clears throat> then you have to provide some additional access. Just click on continue from here and you will be connected with Google Drive. You can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected. Here it is asking for the name of the folder or the subfolder. So this is my drive and the name of uh, the folder I am using here is this files. Okay. So here you can see you, you can select the folders name from this folders list. It is showing us the folders name. Here is the files name folder. So I have selected this. Now when you click on save and send test request, the details of the most recent file that you have uploaded in the drive will be captured here. So guys, I have uploaded only one file here. The name is this engaging Facebook post ideas puppy. Okay. This is a JPG image I have uploaded. So let me click on save and send test request here. And here you can see we got the data captured like this. But guys, before capturing the data, you have to do one thing just make this folder shareable that means you have to click here and we here we have share option click on it and here you can see we have the access general access option from here you have to select this one and even with the link option and you can provide the role as editor commenter or viewer i'm just giving the role as viewer only but this is a shareable folder now it is not restricted anymore okay so make sure you have to do this before connecting it right after that, you can fetch the data like this. And here you can see we got this web content link label in which we got the link of the file. Okay. And here we have many links, the thumbnail link, thumbnail version. And here you can see the file type. The title of the file is here. You can see engaging Facebook post ideas. This is the same file's name. Okay. So this, this is how we can capture the details or the information about any kind of file from your Google Drive. Okay. Right. 
So guys, after that, what I want, I want to send the same file into my OneDrive account. For that, uh, I'm going to connect OneDrive here in this action step. Search for OneDrive. Okay, here it is, Microsoft OneDrive. And here the action event would be upload a file. Okay, select this. And then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft OneDrive. And it might bring you to the login window if you are not logged in. As I have already logged in here, it will asking, it is asking to give the access to Pabli Connect. So you have to provide these accesses. Just click on yes. And you can see we are getting connected now. Okay, so you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected. And here it is asking for the folders name. So, so guys, this is my OneDrive account and here you can see I have all these folders. Okay, so you can use any of the folder. I'm using this one. The name of the folder is Outlook. Okay, this folder is empty. Let me select the name of the folder. Here is the Outlook folder. Now it is asking for the files name, files URL and the file type. Okay. So we are going to use this test data that we have received from the Google Drive and I'm going to map these labels that I have received here in the second step. Here you can see we have received the uh, web content label. Let me show you web content link label. Here we have the files link. I'm going to uh, map all this data here. First of all, it is asking for the files name. So you just have to click here and you can see it is showing us the trigger step and the drop down. So from here only you can see uh, the data that you have received and here you can see we got the title of the file you can map it as the file name now it is asking for the files url so you will find the web view web content link label just map it okay file type is default only now click on save and send test request to check your connection with microsoft outlook and the new file will be uploaded here automatically let me click on save and send test request and here is the response. Let us check in our Outlook folder if we got the file uploaded. And uh, let me refresh the folder. And here you can see the same file got uploaded here uh, in my Microsoft Outlook as well. Okay, so this is the same file that I had here before in my drive. Now I had it here in my Microsoft Outlook or sorry, OneDrive account. Okay. So this is how it is going to happen guys. And we have to set up this automation only once after that, we don't have to do anything manually. So, uh, after setting up this automation, whenever you are going to upload any file in your Google drive, this workflow is going to check in every 10 minutes. Uh, if you have a new file in Google drive in any specific folder, and if you have a new file, the same file will be sent to OneDrive automatically because we have mapped the labels here like this. So when you map the labels, the labels are going to be updated automatically and new files will be uploaded automatically. And this workflow is going to run in the background. You don't have to do anything manually. Okay. And you can use this workflow as well, guys, because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.